Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 2, Chapter 3 Review. Please have your chapter uh, reviews out in front of you so we can go along, and we're going to go through every single one of these problems. So hopefully you guys are paying attention. Now, if there are certain problems that you need to do and just you have certain questions on those, just go ahead and skip through the video till you find the problem that you're looking for. Otherwise, I am going to zoom in, and we are going to get started with problem number one. Problem number one, we need to solve for x. So I'm going to draw a line down the middle. Get rid of this real quick because it's in my way. Now, is this a positive 5 or a negative 5? This is a positive 5. So I'm going to subtract 5 to both sides. And we have negative 3 over 4x equaling 14 minus 5 is 9. Now, to get the x by itself, which is still just right there, we have to get rid of the fraction. And to get rid of the fraction, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Those guys cancel. Now, off to the side right here, I'm going to do 9 over 1 times negative 4 over 3. Looking at my kitty corners right here, the 3 and the 9, those actually reduce. If I divide both of them by 3, oh, that turns into a 1. And then 3 over 1 times negative 4 over 1 is going to give us negative 12. Okay? And if you want to flip all the way on the back to see if that's one of the answers, I'm pretty sure that it is. Number two, okay, we're solving for m. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to distribute. When we distribute right there, you get 2m minus 14 plus 4m equals 7m plus 8 minus m. I'm going to draw my line down the middle so I can see both sides. Next is I want to combine like terms. So anything that's the same, my 2m and my 4m, and then on the other side, my 7m and my negative m. So 2 plus 4 gives us 6m minus 14 equals 7m minus m equals 6m plus 8. All right, I want my variable on one side. So I have a positive 6m. I'm going to subtract 6m, subtract 6m. Well, 6m minus 6, those cancel. and Oh, wait, on the other side, those cancel. So we're left with negative 14 equals positive 8. Is that a true statement? No. This right here is false. Okay, so when we get a false answer like that, the answer is no solution. And we taught you a symbol that you can draw. All right, let's move on to the next one. Two different ways that we can do this. I know you guys hate working with um, decimals, so that's what we're going to do, is we're going to get rid of those decimals. And to get rid of all of the decimals is we need to multiply by the place value. And right here, that is the hundredths position, so we're going to multiply everything by 100. Okay? So that gives us 1y. 100 times 3 is 300. One hundred times 0 0.02 is going to give us 2y. And remember, we have to multiply everything by 100. So minus 200 
that's going to give us 3y. I just caught my mistake. Hopefully you guys did too. That should be 100. I apologize. Doing this a little fast. And then all the way at the end is going to give us minus 200. Perfect. So all of the uh, decimals are now gone. What we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. So anything that's the same on the left and anything on the right that's the same. So on the left, you're going to combine your y's and you're going to get 3y minus 300 equals 3y. And when you combine negative 100 minus 200 is minus 300. Now you might be looking right here and be like, oh, Mr. Grice, I think I know what's going on here. Well, our next step is to get the variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract 3y. Those cancel. I'm going to subtract 3y. Ooh, those cancel. But this time, negative 300, does that equal negative 300? That is a true statement. OK, so when we have a true statement, the answer is infinite solutions. Let's move down. Number four. Once again, your guys' favorite things, fractions. To cancel out the fractions, we need to find the LCD. OK, so we're going to be looking at all of our denominators. So I want the LCD of 2, 4, and 3. So. To do that, we're just going to count a couple. Oh, oh, let's do that. Four. Well, there's one. There's one. There's one. OK. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So when we're looking at all of that, I notice 12 is common in all of them. So my LCD is 12. All right, now that we did that, I'm going to actually have to erase my work so I have room to finish the problem. So our LCD is 12, which means if we multiply everything by 12, we're going to cancel everything out. And remember, that's going to be 12 over 1. We're only multiplying the numerators here. So 12 over 1 times 1 over 2 gives us 12 over 2x plus 12 times 3 is 36 over 4. 12 times 1 is going to give us 12 over 3x. And all the way at the end, it's going to give us 12 over 2. OK? So the first thing is we did was we multiply by the LCD. Right now, we're going to divide. 12 divided by 2 gives us 6x plus 9 equals 4x minus 6. OK? And from here, we want to get our variable to one side. So I'm going to minus the 4x, minus the 4x. I'm sorry, I forgot to draw the line down the middle, guys. So those cancel. We're left with 2x plus 9 equals negative 6. OK, and now we're actually going to go through and solve following sad map which means I have to subtract 9 to both sides. We get 2x equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x equals negative 15 over 2. Can we reduce that answer? No. So that's going to be it. OK? All right, 
problem number five. So it's to solve for n. So I'm going to highlight n so I know exactly where it's at. And that's what I want to get by itself. Okay. So the thing that's on the same side is that r squared. I need to get rid of that. So I want to subtract that to both sides. Those are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. All right, is my n by itself yet? No. So what I have to do right there is multiplication. So to get rid of multiplication is division. So I have to divide everything by 2. We're going to cancel that out. 6m divided by 2 is 3m minus r squared over 2 equals n. n is by itself, so we're nice and happy. All right, next one. For here, we're going to solve for m, and we're going to solve by m by cross multiplication here. Okay. So on our one side, it's 3m times 6 equals 5 times 2m plus 1. So that's the multiplication right there. And you get 18m equals 10m plus 5. All right, we want to get our variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract the 10m. And we get 8m equals 5. The m is not by itself yet, so we have to divide both sides by 8. And we're left with m equals 5 over 8. And since we can't reduce it, that's going to be our final answer. All right. Keep on going. So Teresa planted 15 rows of daffodils and roses. Okay, so the total is 15 rows or 15 rows of flowers. Okay. Let's keep reading. She planted twice as many daffodils as she did roses. Okay. So our relationship right here is the daffodils and the roses. Now, if she says right here, it says twice as many daffodils, okay? So if our roses are x, that means our daffodils have to be 2x, because it has to be double, okay? And now when we go to set this up, we know that the rows, when we add the two of those together, all of those, that's going to equal the 15, okay? And from here, you combine your like terms, and now we have to solve for x, which is just dividing by 3. So x equals 5. So we are not done yet because it wants to know how many rows of each flower did she plant. Well, using our relationship over here, we can solve that. Okay. So she had 5 rows of roses. And the 2x, so 2 times 5 would be 10. She has 10 rows of daffodils. All right, number 8. This is a plumber is cutting a 20-foot pipe. He needs to cut the pipe so that one piece is 8 feet longer than the other. All right, so here's my pretty little pipe that we're going to draw. And we need to cut it so that one side is 8 feet longer. So if this is x, this needs to be longer than that. Let's make that so it actually looks like an 8. OK? And combine that whole piece is 20. So we have x plus 8 plus x equals 20. We're going to combine your like terms. 
and now we're going to start solving for x. We get 2x equals 20 minus 8 is 12. Divide by 2, we get x equals 6. Okay? So our one piece is 6 feet, and the other is x plus 6, so 6 plus 8 would be 14 feet. Key thing, guys, don't forget to label. All right, number nine. Anesthesia wants to invest $300 into an account that pays 2% simple interest. If she leaves her money in the account for five years, how much money will she have after that? So, 300, 2%, five years. Now, if we remember, interest equals PRT. That was our fancy formula that we uh, talked about. Our principal here is going to be uh, 300. That's how much we start with. Our rate is 2%, and we want that as a decimal. And then our time is 5. Okay? So when we plug this in, interest equals uh, the principal, which is 300, times the rate, times the time. And remember, we can do this in any order. So off to the side over here, I'm going to do 300 times 5. And that's going to give us 1,500. So interest equals 1,500. And then we still have to multiply by 0.02. So I'm going to take that number, times it by 0 0.02. 0, 0, 10, carry the 1. Is that my answer? $3,000? Uh, no, because we have two numbers behind the decimal, so we have to keep that there. Okay? So our interest equals $30. Now, we are not done because that last question says, how much money will she have in the account total? So if we're talking about total, you're talking about your interest plus your principal, so your total is $330. All right. Let's pause it right there, and that's going to be the first part of the video. Okay? So those are the first nine problems. If you have any questions over the next one, go ahead and let's watch the second video. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys.